Second and ten. Mayfield to the end zone to Jefferson. Is that possible? Touchdown. No, it's like I swear, like we're cursed or something. Literally, we cut him three days ago. Now he has a game-winning touchdown drive to win the game for the Rams. That's crazy to me, bro. That's come on, dog. This is like I don't want to say the NFL is rigged, bro, but there are moments that I'm like, yo, that's scripted. That's so scripted, dog. I'm happy for dog, but like, yo. Now everybody gonna talk about us. Like the Panthers made a stupid mistake. The Panthers don't know what they're doing. We just got off of this. And once we traded away Christian McCaffrey like a month or two ago, and now we are gonna be right back on it, where the media is hating on and calling us idiots and stuff, and like just should have never gotten rid of Baker Mayfield. Like what are the Panthers doing? Like bro, only us, dog. I swear, only us. You kidding me, dog? Baker Mayfield just got cut by us. Literally goes to the Rams. Two days later, he's leading the game-winning drive to win the game. Come on, dog. This is what I'm talking about, bro. Like, it, it, it was... Look, I'm not going to hate. You know, Baker, he played a really good game. And I, I've, I haven't been like I was with Sam Darnold last year where I was like dissing the quarterback every game. I just let it play out this year. I let it play out this year. Honestly, um... After the whole Matt Rule firing thing, I just stopped having expectations on the season. But, like, dog, this is crazy because we just brought you in. You played bad, like, really bad. At least it wasn't Russell Wilson level, but it, it was it was close to it. Um, Really bad in all the games that you started. I think you went, like, 1-5 as the starter for us. Six touchdowns, six interceptions. Like, terrible season. And then, you know, once... P.J. got rolling, and P.J. got hurt, and now it's Sam Darnold's turn. He didn't want to be the third string anymore, which I completely understand, so we let him go. We had to do our due diligence. Um, from what I'm hearing, though, like, everybody in the locker room liked Baker. I don't think there were any problems with Baker. You know, everybody from Cleveland was saying, like, he has attitude problems, he has behavior problems. He wasn't a problem. You know, he might have had a couple run-ins and press conferences where he called out a reporter or something. Or was smart with a reporter, but other than that, he was pretty good. I mean, he just he he just didn't show up when it mattered on the field. Um, personality-wise, you know, everybody in the locker room I think liked him, liked him as a leader. Um, but obviously his play didn't match that, so you know. But man, um, I still wish him the best. You know, um, I didn't expect him to do as well as he did tonight. That was that was pretty crazy. Um, considering he doesn't even know the playbook, like, <laughs> but, hey, I think Sean McVay might actually be good for him, I think if his career is going to be revived in any way, shape, or form, then Sean McVay is the guy to do it, I mean, look what he did with Jared Goff, that's all I gotta say, first four years, look what he did with Jared Goff, um, just saying, I mean, Jared Goff to me is like average, maybe a slightly below average quarterback in the NFL to me so what he did with Jared Goff is impressive and I've always thought Baker Mayfield may be the same tier as Jared Goff maybe a little bit better um but yeah you know we'll see um I don't know how long Matthew Stafford's injury is going to keep him out I don't know if he's going to have surgery or not um I also heard a couple of things talking about how Matthew Stafford's injury if he doesn't you know, have surgery, then it could be career ending. But that would be a pretty wild thing. Obviously, we're not going to get that far ahead and say it's Baker Mayfield's job. This is just one game, you know. He doesn't even know the playbook. And they're, they're quarterback needy at this point. They're like, what, 4-9? and nine. They've been disappointing all year. They are coming off that Super Bowl hangover. hangover. I mean, people really underestimate that Super Bowl hangover. But me as a Panthers fan, let me tell you, it's very real, all right? People just expect, oh, you just you can just run it back. But no, it's not the same, man. Once you get to the mountaintop, there's going to be a decline. Somebody's going to fall off a little bit. Even the Bucks, after they won the Super Bowl, they fell off a little bit. And you can see that now. It's still carrying over into this year. Now, I hope they lose a couple more games so we can be first place. We have to handle our business. But, of course, let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Back to the subject at hand, though. Um, good game, Baker. Um, I'm not afraid to say that, 
you know, I didn't really have any problems with Baker. Obviously, he didn't play good, but, like, I don't have any, like, problems with you as a person, you know what I'm saying? It's just, obviously, your play wasn't good enough to win, and, you know, we possibly could have done better with quarterback play. Um, that's neither here or there. Um, that's a whole different coaching staff. So, not going to get into that, because, you know, you know, y'all know how I feel about Matt Rule, so, Yeah. Um, ultimately, though, I feel lost now because I was going to do a Raiders video. I was going to say, like, can the Las Vegas Raiders make the playoffs? I was literally working on the video. I was watching the game because I thought the Raiders had it in the bag. And the next thing you know, the fourth quarter happened, some missed calls, some loan calls. Um, a lot of people are saying this is the Raiders versus the refs. I'm not going to comment on that. I will say that Baker Mayfield did show his leadership driving down the field. Um, to, to get them to win the game, I was like, "Wow, this is this is crazy." And I, I had to check on my boy Colin because I was like, "Yo, he's a Raiders fan." I was like, "Is he good right now?" But yeah, that's neither here or there. Um, obviously, you know, props to Baker, man. He, he played his butt off tonight, though. I can't even, I can't even hate on that. Um, but the task at hand. Um, we have Seattle coming up. On Sunday, I think it's a 425 game. Not sure. Yeah, we have the Seattle Seahawks Sunday. It's going to be a big task for us. Um, it's one of them career-defining. Well, not career-defining, but like season-defining games because we're in a compromised position. The Bucks winning on Monday night put us, like I want to say, two games behind, maybe a game and a half because we beat the Bucks already. But basically, we have to win at least four of the next five just to, to have a chance to make the playoffs. And we have to take care of business in the division, too, because um, we have the Bucks and Saints to end the season. So we have to stay focused um, one game at a time, obviously. But, hey, man, we've done it before. Look at 2014, making the playoffs with a losing record. But, yeah, man, y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all thought about Baker's performance. And also what y'all think about the next upcoming game. Um, how are y'all feeling? Um, Seattle's a tall task. Seattle's a possible playoff team. I think they're in the wild card right now, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so they're trying to keep, you know, they're racing the division tight. Um, they also play the Niners. And that's going to be another good divisional game, um, I think, next Thursday. So they're definitely looking to take care of business on Sunday so that they can go in and possibly – take over the division next Thursday. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, but um, that NFC West race between the Seahawks and Niners is very close, and I don't know who's going to get it. Um, everybody's talking about the Niners being a Super Bowl favorite for obvious reasons, but, you know, Brock Purdy, you know, Jimmy G going down definitely hurts their chances, and I am not sold on Brock Purdy. I haven't seen enough of Brock Purdy yet. Um... But this is going to, if it does all work out and they do take the division, it's going to be all on Kyle Shanahan because literally Kyle Shanahan taking any quarterback that he can get his hands on and leading the team to the playoffs, you got to give him his props, man. I mean, Kyle Shanahan, I think he's a really good coach. He's not a great coach, but he's a really good coach in my opinion. Is he his father? Um, the jury's still out on that one. But... Yeah, I think Shanahan's a good coach. I think he has really good players, and I think San Francisco's a really good team. I'm not so sure about Super Bowl, but they have the talent to get there. It's going to take a lot, and I mean a lot, for them to get there. But, yeah, man, y'all let me know about the games on Sunday. If any games that y'all are anticipating watching um, that you're hyped for or whatever in the comment section below. I'm so pissed. I meant to make my Raiders video, man. But anyways, man, um, thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for always showing love and supporting the channel. And we out, dog. I'll see y'all on Sunday for the reaction after the game.